Hi there, Kelly Q204 here. I want to take a few minutes to talk about Akira Toriyama, who is the creator of Dragon Ball Z. He just passed away just recently. I don't really have all too much to say, except during the 90s, I watched Dragon Ball Z. It premiered on Kids WB. It didn't really garner any success until it premiered on Cartoon Network on August 31st, 1998. I can go into the long history of the whole thing of Toonami. I just kind of felt like Cartoon Network was part of the club. The moon. They need the moon. Today at 5, Toonami busts out the heavy artillery. No! Today at 5, only Toonami. Toonami also had Peter Cullen talk about the Tree of Might. Seven heroes are all that stand in its way. Won't let the Earth be destroyed. Power up! Bring it on! Tsunami presents a special encore one-hour Dragon Ball Z movie. Tree of Might. Next, central element of the DBZ triple feature. Only Tsunami. Tsunami also had Don LaFontaine promote Dead Zone. Check out some videos all about him. It's very fascinating. They would steal a child for the key to immortality, but now they must face his father, the Earth's greatest champion. His name is Goku. Defeat me, I'll take you He will see the return of his son. Pray for those who took him this Friday. The battle for our planet begins again. Cartoon Network presents a special Dragon Ball Z movie, Dead Zone, Friday at 4. The one thing that I really remember specifically is when Goku becomes a Super Saiyan for a very first time. Listen very carefully. You must leave this planet now and take Piccolo with you. Got it? Uh, uh, <laughs> this is the last time I'm going to tell you. Get out of here right now, Gohan. The next part that I've always liked was Gohan versus Cell. During that intense fight, Goku sacrificed himself, save everyone leaving his son Gohan to finish Cell off. And the only way to do that was to use Kamehameha. Gohan is finally ready to face him.
I continued to watch Dragon Ball Z all the way up until the late 2000s. During that time period, I was a regular customer at Suncoast. At Suncoast, I found a Dragon Ball Z wallet. Check out my video all about how I got it and what happened to my Dragon Ball Z wallet. Also during that time period, I also purchased a Dragon Ball Z watch. Even though I am not watching Dragon Ball Z, which is now called Dragon Ball Super, I just haven't really kept up of uh, what's going on. But, please check out my Moo review of Dragon Ball Super Heroes. It's really entertaining. Just recently, though, I went to the Rose City Comic Con twice, and I got to meet Christopher Sabbath. He does the voice of Vegeta. And Sean Schimmel, who does the voice of Goku. Akira Toriyama will be missed, but his legacy still continues, and some of his work is still going to be trucking along. Very cool. Thank you so much for watching slash listening. And Toonami took a moment to dedicate Dragon Ball Z and Akira Toriyama. Man, losing one of the greatest manga creators of all time really sucks. But Akira Toriyama's monumental influence on the medium will live on forever. Back in 98, Dragon Ball Z put Toonami on the map. And the Dragon Ball franchise has been our rock ever since. So tonight, with heavy hearts, we're paying tribute to Toriyama-san. With the first eight episodes of DBZ Kai from 2 to 6 a.m. The last video that I'm going to share with you during this whole thing is Sean Schimmel talking about Dragon Ball Z. Akira Toriyama Sensei gave me the opportunity, along with especially Toei Animation, of course, and Funimation, and all the other connecting parts that gave me the opportunity. I would definitely go on YouTube to find the, the video clip. It's an hour long, but very fascinating. Thank you so much for watching.